Hey guys. Well, before I start this uh, video, I noticed that uh, it was only showing I had 30 minutes of uh, video on the card, which I thought was wrong. Well, I knew it was wrong. I should have at least been getting 47 minutes. So um, I plugged the camera into the computer and. Um, There was nothing on the memory card, so I took the memory card out of the camera, put it in the computer, formatted it, and now it's saying I've got an hour exactly, so but that was the problem, it needed a format. And one of these days I've got to take this keyboard tray off here and straighten everything out, because it's a pain in the fucking ass to open and close. Uh, anyway, yesterday I was helping my friend again, but... Uh, we had the benefit of a cart and trailer. So, um, and his mum was doing the drive. So we spent the best part of the morning emptying out his workshop. Everything he wanted went in the trailer. Everything he didn't want either went in my pile or in the shit pile. He's just got this huge pile in the corner full of rubbish. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what we've got to go to the dump, so he's got to do a dump run at some point. He wants to be done and dusted by Friday, but I don't think that's going to happen, not in reality. Uh, but uh, I did come home with, with a bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, we got we've got this uh, Philips micro audio jukebox, which doesn't appear to work. It's crashed, and I can't turn it off or on or anything. And the uh, the screen is rather faint as well. But it could be because um, this doesn't have a full charge. I don't know. But uh, it would be nice if I could have got that working. It's a nice little gadget. Maybe it's something I did because it crashed when I plugged it into the PC. What it's got on screen is a um, symbol that looks like this device, then a cable, and then a symbol that looks like a computer, and it's been stuck on that all day. It doesn't matter what I press, what I do, it just won't do anything. Now the thing I've got the Palm, the Z22, or Z22. Uh, and it works. The only problem is, I don't have a stylus, and I can't do a lot with it without the stylus, so... If I can find one, then yay. I have another little gadget here that I could uh, use. I'm going to have to give that screen a bloody good clean. We'll see if I can find an alternative that will work as a stylus. That would be even better. Um, nothing laying on there, is there? No. There was um, a few phones. There was this, which is from a company called O2. That's a um, cell phone company over here. And it's the XDA2 with a memory card in the top, but that's only a little one. The battery's dead as a doornail. It's only got Pocket PC written on it, but when I researched it, they're actually a PDA. Um, and these sorts of phones were usually issued to um, workmen that used to have, you know, go out on the job sort of thing. Engineers and whatnot. They used to carry these and I think some of them had software, so like carriers you could sign for things as well. Quite a useful little gadget. Um, I don't have a charger, and I don't know if the battery is any good, but I did look on eBay, and uh, I can get the battery for two ninety nine, brand spanking new one, genuine one, and the charging docking station for four pounds. So no brainer. I could get both and uh, replace, well, you know, replace the battery, or have a spare battery in case that one doesn't work. 
Um, and I got this Sony Ericsson Cybershot on the 3 network. Um, that took charge. That works. When I found one of my charges that did actually work, because one of them was a bit dodgy. Here's my other cyber shot that Biggles gave me ages ago. The buttons, not all the buttons work on this one. Um, so I've still got a spare one here, got a spare battery. <laughs> this one, this one appears to completely work if I put a SIM card in it. Yeah, it's dialing numbers. Because that's what was, um, that's what's not working on the brown one, the um, buttons aren't working. The, um, on the numeric pad, the num pad, whatever you want to call it. No SIM card in it though. Uh, the other one that I got, a Nokia, it's got N70 on the top, is that the model number? I don't know. And that's charged as well. And on Vodafone, and it may have a SIM card in it, I don't know. I haven't um, figured out how to get the back cover off to uh, put your SIM card in. I know it's got a memory card in the side. But, uh, I've still got showing full bar battery and it's been on since prob probably this time last night actually. Uh, oh, probably one of my favourite things he gave me. Another cordless drill. And this one's a Makita 6227D. Complete with charger and second battery. 12 volt, 1.3 amp hour. It's a NICAD battery, Makita Corporation. He's got another one that's a lot newer than this one. I know they're not cheap to buy. Uh, I've got another drill. Well, actually, I didn't intentionally want the drill. That's a mains one, not a battery one, or cordless one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it was all tangled up in a pile of, pile of cables, along with some Dell p computer speakers I wanted. And, uh, you know, because we're... We were sort of uh, strapped for time. I just grabbed the pile of cable and threw it in my bag, and cause I thought I'll just untangle it here. But uh, out of curiosity, I didn't try the drill. I had to let it dry out overnight. But it does work. There's nothing wrong with it. That's all it is. Just a stack, bog standard Bosch electric drill, and I've got a chuck key for it as well found a chuck key in my bag of bits. I don't actually know how it got in there. I didn't chuck it in there. So it must have, might have been tangled up with the cables, actually. Or tangled up with something else, or just fell in there. I don't know. But uh, it does fit. It does actually fit that chuck. I've got a paper shredder. Which... I can find a socket. Standing. We'll um, see if it works. It was rather wet, this. Well, it's been outside for a while looking at that. It's gone rusty, but who knows? We'll, uh, we'll power it up, shall we? We'll try and get the lid on. Oh, go on. And, uh, down on the floor for a moment while I get the top on. That it's going to do one or two things, it'll either go boom or it'll work. So we'll put it in. That works. Well, so far, 
it didn't go bang, but I might just find a scrap piece of paper or something. Just shred one of these. See if it'll shred it, shall we? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on our own. So in theory, one that's on auto. Works. <laughs> it actually works. It actually works really, really well. Cool. Got a bottle of cleaner. I don't know why I was going to chuck that out. It's nearly a full bottle, but. That'll do to clean my bikes. Uh, I um rapid start starting charger, heavy duty starting charger. I don't know if that works, I haven't tried it. I will plug that in in a bit. I'll plug it in through here actually. Um I think that's it, but it isn't. Where is it? I've got a Sony Walkman MP3 player to try to get to work. I had this on charge because I found the charger and the, there's actually a set of headphones for it as well. But uh, all this was doing, the screen was just flashing on and off when I had it on charge. I don't know, is it going to do it again? And I left it like it for an absolute age. Well, for say an absolute age, I don't know, about half an hour. Gonna do it. There we go. And that is all it did. So I don't have to. Oh, now it's stopped. Don't know. Oh, the hold button's on. Don't know why the hold is on. Come on. No. Nope. I'll have a look at that later. Oh, it'll start to flash again. Now I've thrown it down there. Uh, last night though, because um, his girlfriend and his mum stayed up in the flat and uh, had a sort out up there and they went through all his CDs and DVDs and uh, well I've got a load of them as well. I actually went back and rescued those this morning because they were put in the actual bin. In a in bags. All tied up in bags. And there's a box as well. What the hell was that? I just went for it. Oh well. Yeah. So I decided I'd go rescue them. So if there was anything in there I wanted. And, uh, well, there is. There's plenty of CDs. Although I doubt I'll keep the pirated ones, but the pirated DVDs that is. And there's PC stuff that I've knocked on the floor down here. Three blank CDs, video clean, uh, restore films and save them to DVD CD. A couple of PC games and a thing to enhance Windows Vista or upgrade your Windows Vista experience. Windows any time up it's still sealed, look. It's never been opened. I could just keep that for history. <laughs> uh, but uh that wasn't the sort of a coup de grace as the uh, old sound goes. One, when I tipped out one of the bags, found this tablet, which works. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Oops. The only thing that is wrong is that you can't press quickly. You've got to hold your hand, finger there for a longer period of time, otherwise it won't register that you've touched the screen. I don't know if it's meant to do that or if it is just an iffy screen or whatever, I don't know, but it does work. Which is good. I've got a Wii here, a Nintendo Wii and a controller and a game. Uh, no idea if it works. I've got no power cable for it. 
So I've got to hold my finger down. Just skimming the screen isn't working, so it could be an iffy screen, I don't know. Yeah, it's all working though. Aside from that little issue. I don't know why they threw it out, it's still usable. Um, anyway. I want to find a way to power this up. I don't know anyone who's got one. Or I can just borrow the um, AV cable and power cable and just see if it turns on. And does anything. <laughs> Because I don't want to go out forking out, you know, for another controller and a power cable and whatnot, just to find uh, it doesn't work. Um, or I could just say stuff it and just throw it on eBay as it is, spares repairs, untested. Uh, there's a second tablet. This one turns on, but doesn't boot. It hangs on a blank screen. I can't show because there's no charge in it. It's a Rapid 5. That may end up on eBay as spares or repairs. Then there's this one. Which if it's charged, it is. I'm going to take it off charge. My makeshift charger lead using a lead from a universal adapter. That's what that is. So I can change the tip. I just connected it to a 5 volt or to a USB end to the PC because uh, I haven't got a 5 volt adapter but I've got um, wall plugs for phones but there just wasn't enough oomph ok, another tablet making weird noises <laughs> I don't know what it did, I can't see anything oh well. <clears throat> You know, there wasn't a lot of oomph in the plugs I had for another job I wanted for them, so I just made that lead up. Um, same with that one. It's a 12 volt adapter, which I had, but all my 12 volt adapters, the plugs were too big. So I found a, I think it was a 7.5 volt adapter with the correct size plug, so I just cut it off and made it to a uh, 12 volt adapter and charged this one up. I actually like this one. I don't know what the brand is. Is the brand on it? R-O-H-S, I think that says on there, I don't know. <laughs> Bloody tilt screen sensors. Uh, should we boot this one up? Oh, it's actually got a front-facing camera as well. I was a bit delayed. Facing camera, there's nothing on the back. It says DC 5 volt power button, HDMI, micro USB, microphone. There's no, no rear facing camera though. Just like the other, same scrolling thing as the other one. I suppose it would be if it's running the same software. This one's got a bit of a finicky screen on it as well. But this one's more lighter. I like this one cause, just because it's smaller and lighter. That one's got quite a bit of weight to it, but it's got a bigger screen. But uh, two out of three tablets isn't bad, is it? You know, they technically work. Turn this one off. See? That one's worked. That's it. See, this one's a bit slow at loading and whatnot. That's about the only issue with that one. It's alright when it gets going. There we go. Oh, it's hit the camera. I don't want to hit the camera. How do I, uh... How do I get back? I can see myself. <laughs> that does video as well. Sign in error? No, I don't care about that.
Where's the hotter? There's the home button. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, the screen is quite finicky on this one, unfortunately. That does work. I don't know if that's the other one got a camera on it. Stand out, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a front camera on it. Yeah, that's all it's got, just a front camera. ROHS compliant. Yeah. Let's see what the camera's like on that one. I wouldn't. It's quite grainy, or it looked quite grainy on this one. You're going to rotate. Thank you. Right. I'm planning to go to Mum's tomorrow if she wants to come and get me. Certain things, there are certain areas on this screen that are a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, apart from that, it works great. I would have given one to Mum, but I don't think she'd get along with it, to be honest. Uh, I have to find her a laptop. Right, oh, I've got that table built today as well. So I've got the street on there. There is some, um, pornographic DVDs under there. The longer I've left that, the slower that flat, or the longer that screen has stayed on. Maybe I'll just leave it for as long as possible and see what happens. The battery might spring to life, because no doubt these have been left uncharged for many, many months in my friend's workshop, because I know what he's like. No doubt I'll probably find some up in his flat as well when we do the loft. Like I said, I don't know what he's bloody like. It would be a, good to get at least one of these play, music players working. Oh. What did I do with those, uh... I can't what I do with those JVC headphones, man. Well, I'll unplug that cable now. My charging cable. If I go to Mum's tomorrow, I want to take one of those um, tablets with me. Just have a play with it. Oh, you baby, uh, excuse me. Oh. The Technic stack system I'm going to um, break for parts, I think. Or we'll dissect it, so that's what's going to come up in um, future videos. I'll um, dissect bits. Or each section has four sections. Um, no, I've probably deleted the first one I did. But uh, I could not find the problem. I checked. And it was um, beyond my means of uh, diagnosing, so... Poor thing will be going to the graveyard in the sky. Or the electrical graveyard in the sky. You are starting to pee me off, Cap. I think one thing I'm going to do... Is go dig my DVD cases out of the cupboard. I hope I've got enough to put these DVDs that I want into a case. I don't all keep the porn DVDs. I've got that. Who needs DVDs? Who needs DVDs when you've got the internet? <coughs> Go away. Jump on my fucking lap. Well, I'll make that it for this video. You shave. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh,
feel free to leave a comment if you have one. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.